Okay, so this is a tutorial for NVIDIA Shadow Play, which is an alternative to Fraps. You can use this program for recording your gameplay and Skype conversations at the same time. The difference between Fraps and Shadow Play is that Shadow Play is free. You have to buy a license for Fraps to use it for a longer period of time. The performance hit on NVIDIA Shadow Play is next to nothing, so you can record gameplay and have high frame rates at the same time, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, Shadow Play comes out with smaller file sizes at the end, whereas Fraps has huge file sizes after finished recording, which can be a pain. The only downside to Shadow Play is that it's an NVIDIA piece of software, meaning you need to have an NVIDIA graphics card in order to use it. It also needs to be a relatively new NVIDIA graphics card. So the list of supported cards is quite high, but you, it, older cards won't work. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your microphone, again, is set up correctly and working. If you've got a microphone, you'll plug it into the back of your motherboard into the orange port next to the green port. The green port is for sound, headphones, speakers, etc. The orange port is for your microphone. Once you've got it plugged in and hopefully set up, hopefully you've got the drivers installed and hopefully it's working okay. If your microphone isn't working, this video is not for you. But if your microphone is working, you just need to go and make sure. Uh, so go over to speakers here, right click on speakers and click recording devices. And you should see your microphone pop up here. And the, as you can see, this, this is one that I'm currently using and the level bar will will rise and fall as you as you use it. You, uh, if it's not, you, one of the issues might be is that if you just go to properties and click levels here, it might be set low. So if you set it higher, if it was set low and you set it higher, that could be one of the reasons as to why it wasn't working properly. Uh, if you've got more than one microphone for shadow play, you need to make sure that you have the microphone you want to use set as the default device. You do this just by clicking on it and set default button here. This one already is, so I don't need to do that. Okay, now the next thing you need to do is to download and install NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This is the piece of software which contains NVIDIA Shadow Play. Uh, I believe there's a link for NVIDIA Shadow Play on, you just have to type in NVIDIA GeForce Experience or NVIDIA Shadow Play and NVIDIA GeForce Experience has Shadow Play in it, so you just you can download either one. I'll put a link in the description and you can find it, download it, and install it and get it running. So when you have downloaded and installed NVIDIA GeForce Experience, you will need to open it up and I'll talk you through the settings and what you need to get going. So uh, this is the main screen. If you go oh, look over on here on the right and click Shadow Play, note that this these uh, the shadow play options won't be here if you do not have a supported graphics card so there's a list on the nvidia website of which graphics cards support nvidia shadow play and you'll need to look for yours there if again if you don't have a graphics card that supports nvidia shadow play then use fraps go look at my fraps tutorial i'll put a link down in the description so let's talk you through the settings the first thing you need to do is click this button here when you click that button it'll take a moment and it'll turn green now what this does is this activates NVIDIA Shadow Play. NVIDIA Shadow Play has a cool feature is that when you activate that button, it'll do uh, something called Shadow Time. And now what Shadow Time does is it records the last five minutes of screen, whatever you've got on your screen. Meaning that you can have this button activated and it will currently be recording the screen. So if you activate NVIDIA video shadow play you do something cool on your game you can hit uh, it says that alt f10 and it will save the last five minutes of recording which so it's basically kind of like a buffer it means that it will cache the files uh, and delete them it's like you're always recording kind of you can change these settings to change the uh, amount of time you want to do NVIDIA shadow play for or if you don't want to use NVIDIA shadow play at all you can turn it off completely and just use manual recording. So to do manual recording, again, just make sure this button's on and the default hotkey is Alt F9. So you can just use it as press Alt F9 to start recording and Alt F9 to stop recording. Uh, you can change the mode here. So shadow and manual, shadow, which is only the last five minutes 
or manual again like I said alt F9 to turn off and on uh, quality here medium low high you can do custom bit rates high is going to have a higher file size low is going to have a lower file size and the audio this is quite important you need to make sure it's set to in-game and microphone this is an important note it will record anything coming through your uh, Windows machine so if I go over to speakers here and click on mixer you can see the different applications that uh, contain volume so uh, I'm currently recording with fraps just to walk you through the settings but if I here we go I've got Fubar 2000 here if I were to play a song on this um, uh, sound player the levels will start coming up and that's what would be recorded so when you load up your game say for example Minecraft Minecraft will appear here and you'll have the level bars moving and that will be recorded in your video so in order to adjust the levels of your microphone and the game you need to turn the in-game volume down you can do it here or go into options and lower the in-game volume so that you can still hear yourself and uh, the game volume but one isn't overriding the other the same with Skype when you get into Skype you can lower and raise the call volume so uh, you need to make sure you have in-game and microphone selected now the next thing you need to do is click this button here this is the settings button and over here will take you to the preferences so if your game is a full screen application game so if it covers the whole screen then you don't need to worry about checking the allow desktop capture button if your game is a windowed game for example minecraft tends to open up in a small little window then you'll need to click the allow desktop capture button what this does is it captures your entire desktop meaning you can capture windowed programs and then zoom in in editing so that you'll have it on the full screen on your video. So, right, the next thing you need is uh, your microphone. You can set it to always on or push to talk. Push to talk means that you'll hold a button to activate your microphone. You've probably got it set to always on and it's probably already on, always on in your Skype conversation so you don't need to worry about that. You can change the shortcuts for recording. The default is Alt F9. I haven't changed that you don't really need to it's up to you the next thing you need to do is you need to decide your save location for the files so if you click this box here you can change the directory for your output files uh, mine's on my e drive in a folder called fraps footage which is ironic because I'm not using fraps uh, slash tutorial so that's where the file will be you need to set a temporary files location as well this is for the shadow time buffering feature um, these are just temporary files that are written and overwritten, so put them anywhere, it doesn't particularly matter. So, once you have that all set up, uh, you can log on to your Skype conversation or whatever. Uh, you can keep this window open here, make sure the button's on so that you're ready to record. Get onto your Skype conversation, and then you can start recording. So you can hit Alt F9, and it will start recording. So then when you're in your phone call, uh, it will record all the audio coming out of the phone call. So for example, if I call the echo test. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. And check in the mixer. Please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. There is Skype there. That's the audio that Skype is recording. I'm currently recording a message on the audio test, so you'll hear that back. There is Skype there. That's the audio that Skype is recording. I'm currently recording a message on the audio test, so you'll hear that back. And there you go. That'll be recording your Skype conversation uh, as well as your gameplay. So the next thing you want to do is obviously boot up a game. Uh, if I load up uh, Minecraft, for example, and then you'll want to hit Alt F9 again to start the recording and then you'll be able to talk on Minecraft and have your gameplay recorded and Alt F9 again will stop the recording and if again if you want to use record Minecraft you'll need to select that uh, desktop capture button which will capture the whole desktop in which case you will want to set it to full screen if you don't want to play in full screen you'll have to change this in in video editing software where you'll have to zoom into the specific section of the video that you want so after you've done 
done recording, you'll need to navigate to the location of the file that you set earlier in the preferences panel over here and your file will be there and it will have your audio and your Skype conversation. And the uh, the output file will be significantly lower in file size than a Fraps video and it'll all be in one file. Uh, it's, it's just a lot easier to me you, than using Fraps, which gives out huge files just is a bit of a pain in the ass. Again, the only disadvantage is if you don't have an Nvidia graphics card then then you can't use this software. But there you go. From then on the uh editing process is the same if you use whatever video editing software you have and hopefully you can get some cool videos. So there you go, that's how you use Nvidia Shadow Plate. Alright, cheers.